I'm Allison, and this is Beers I Got in Montreal, a defunct series of which I made one several months ago. So I've been hoarding these beers in my fridge for almost a year. Please hold your hate mail. The fun thing about these is that the labels are in French, so I only partially know what these beers are. It's like a fun little pinata surprise of like what it's gonna be and what it's gonna taste like. I can't really read any of the extra information. So today I'm doing Bière de Gazebo. It's apparently limited edition, that much I can understand. Um, and I assume it's made by Brasseurs de Quartier or L'Espace Public. Isn't this fun? But I can tell it's a Gruet for sure. So I'm gonna pop it open and we're gonna go on this journey together. It's 5% alcohol, let's see. Oh, look. Another excellent pour. Never claimed to be an expert. Just, just some girl drinking beer. So it's pretty light. It isn't clear at all. Straw, yellow, light, goldish sort of color. It has kind of a vanilla smell about it, actually. A teeny bit of a vanilla flavor. It's got a little bit of a tea-like about it. It's nice, it is, it's herbal. I can't wait to look this up on Wikipedia after this and um, correct myself entirely. If I were having to guess what this says in French, um, I, it says, this beer is for celebrating the beautiful season or the beautiful weather. Hops are not, oh, chamomile, mint, and sarsaparilla make for a fichu bon gris. I mean, make for a good gruet, I guess. It's the season for something. I don't know, but that's really interesting. So apparently we've got chamomile here, mint and sarsaparilla. Chamomile I totally get. I think that's the vanilla thing I was kind of picking up. Sarsaparilla, maybe a hair, mint, less, less so? Now that I've read this label, um, and seeing as I am very open to suggestion, I do agree that this is a delightful spring beer. So maybe waiting a year to drink it was the right move. Hey, there is some English here. It says return for refund where applicable. Okay, well, like I was joking when I said Wikipedia, really the true source is Beer Advocate. Oh, interesting. Beer Advocate's calling this a Scottish Gruet slash ancient herbed ale, which sounds about right. Should I just like read this nerd's review? I'll just read his review. A golden liquid emerges from the bottle, cloudy with a foam that will diminish to leave only a very quiet lake. This is real, someone really wrote this. On the nose, very herbaceous and floral. Lactic acidity, cereals. To taste, it works well. Suits well the Gruet style. Tastes herbs, fine herbs, and flowers. It is tart probably by lactobacillus. Wheat is also present. Fresh, and it's cool to see something different on the shelves. I feel like there should be a website called like Beer Haiku for reviews of that sort, because that was just very poetic. I agree with everything that guy said. Look, everything I said was right, but partially idiotic. So uh, I stand behind my review. Here's the brewery's website. It's still in French. Oh wait, I can translate it, hold on. Okay, so what this label actually says, let me translate it for you via Google. This should just be called like the Google show, the beer Google show. This sour beer is brewed to celebrate the good weather. Hops have not grown yet, but chamomile, verbena, and sarsaparilla offer everything you need to brew a damn good day. It's time to brown your skin. Ended on a weird note. <laughs> but, uh, but I was close with my reading of this. And that's the end of this beer I got in Montreal. It's nice, I like it. That was all I had to do, just drink the beer. I set a low bar for myself so that I can routinely surpass it. Great job, everyone. <laughs>